What's going on guys? Long time no see, huh? Um, today, I'm feeling a bit under the weather, as is uh, time of year in Cincinnati, getting colder. And uh, I might be coming down with something, maybe, I hope not, but uh, not feeling too great. The upside to that is that uh, I have more time to do stuff since I am quote unquote resting. And so uh, I decided I'd uh, do a little walkthrough for you guys. Now today uh, is suggested by Mars Striker via my inbox. Thank you Mars for the suggestion. It is called Convenience Store Escape. It is on AddictingGames.com, one of our favorites. Um, took me uh, kind of a long time to figure out what to do, but that's because I, I kind of missed some stuff the first time through. So uh, I'm just curious. Oh wow, great, awesome. Never mind. All right, you don't really need instructions. You really don't. All right, so I guess the basic premise is we've crashed into a convenience store for some reason or another. We cannot get out the way we came in, uh, and somehow we crashed in and then locked the keys in the car. So we're going to uh, escape out of here another way. Um, let me see. There's lots of uh, what's the word? Um, superfluous items in this game so be careful you pick up the right things uh, for example for some reason in the Slim Jim there's a tool for breaking in cars and I'm kinda wondering why that you know, don't get distracted like I did the first time through and I'm still getting distracted so use the tool on the car all you gotta do to use tools in this game is to drag them pardon me one second <coughs> yeah, ew. Uh, so we open the car and get a glove, one glove, and we're gonna use that glove to pick up a piece of glass. And I think that's all we need from over there. Turning this way, we see the slurpy machine. I don't think there's anything useful we can do with it right now. On the phone, nothing useful we can do with that right now. Turning toward the hot dogs, there's a key under here that we can use. How do I get out of here? There we go. Alright. And then... There's another key right here. And I feel like there's something else over here. Maybe not. Oh, behind the desk, there's a safe with just a single scratch ticket in it for some reason. And you can use a small key on that drawer to get the screwdriver. Always useful. Um, what do we do with the screwdriver? Oh yes, we use the screwdriver on here to get the coin exchange open, but the phone doesn't work, so we're just going to use it to scratch off this ticket and get the code 4872 Oop. that we use over here. 4872, unlock. And they have one lock on their cooler for some reason. We're going to take the iced tea. And we're not going to drink it, but just take the cap, click on it twice. And we're going to use this code, easy enough to remember in a bit. Until then, what are we going to do? Oh, yes, I know. Also by coincidence, using the glass shard on the balloon, there's another key inside that will lead us to the undercroft of the slurpy machine, where a completed bottle... For some reason, we can't use any of these, but underneath there, there's a cup we can use. And this is kind of player's choice time. Uh, I'm just going to do this in random order. So I'm using pink or purple first. And I'm going to pour it in, we'll just do Chicago. And then go back. You can only use the cup one at a time for some reason. And put it under another color. Actually, we might be able to put it under the same color all four times. Would that be cool? No. Crap. Alright, I guess we got to use different colors. So put another color. Eh. Alright, we're going to use that for... What just happened? Did I not just have orange in there? Am I hallucinating? What is going on? Hold on one second. Give me the cup. Alright, fill it up with pink, I guess. Did I miss something? Oh, it is in there. I just couldn't see it the first time. Okay, never mind. We're good. We accidentally poured it in Las Vegas. It's alright. 
Jeez Louise. And then we haven't used blue, so use blue. Fill her up. Take it out. Yeah. And that'll be our last one for Boston. So, what is it? Purple for Chicago, pink for New York, orange for Las Vegas, and blue for Boston. Here's a convenient map. Purple. Crap, I already forgot it. I need my notepad. Purple, pink, orange, and blue. So purple is Chicago. Pink is New York, which is this one. Orange is Las Vegas. And blue, awesome. And here, click on there, and this is where you're going to use that password. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know if it's case sensitive. I do it just in case. Enter, and we're into the starry sky. That is it for Escape the Convenience Store. Um, if I feel like it, I might upload another video tonight. If I can find a game that I really feel like uh, that's not too, you know, drawn out and I feel like playing, maybe I'll upload another one. And uh, for those of you who want to stick around and to hear me rant for a little bit, uh, I haven't abandoned the channel still. I know I haven't been on for a lot. Well, I haven't uploaded anything for a while. I still read every single comment I get, every single message, believe it or not. Or I try to. Um... The fan page on Facebook, I look after that every once in a while. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I linked the music, one of my music pages with uh, the Phantom Darkness account. So if you're fe feeling musically experimental, please check that out. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, uh, I, yeah, I know I haven't uploaded anything in a while, and I miss it. I really do. Just busy with school and stuff. Last year in high school. We're going to get through it together. Um... But yeah, Thanksgiving break this week, so awesome. And like I said, maybe I'll be uploading a few more things, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you all for watching, and you guys have a great Thanksgiving if you're actually watching this within a Thanksgiving week. And uh, if not, just have a great day. Alright, thanks for coming, and thanks for watching.